Welcome to HorrorCoreNews.com, where you catch all the fucking new shit. Fucking rappers getting shot, new songs, new albums, collabs, fights, whatever the fuck that's going on in the fucking horrorcore scene, right here. Hold on, hold on, wait. Wait a minute, we're getting a little, uh, interference here. Uh, sounds like we got a special interview right now with uh, one of the sickest uh, rappers out here, uh, down with the horror course since day one, uh, Mr. Mastermind. What up, dope? It's your man, Mastermind. What up, horrorcore Chris? I'm honored, man, to do the first interview for horrorcorenews.com and make history. Let's do it. So we know you're still repping Nottis. Any chance of the group getting back? Man, am I still repping Nottis? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Forever. That's what it is, man. That's what made me. You know what I'm saying? So you can always hear me talking some Nottis shit on the record or whatever. I'm just repping it till I die, man. N-A-T-A-S. I don't know about, you know, plans on the group performing again. I just don't know. You know what I mean? I haven't got word, waiting on word. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, even without Nottis, you still got Mastermind. You still got Isha. I'm out there doing this motherfucking thing. So, that's a good thing in itself, though. Never die. How is your record label, Toxic Records, doing? Yeah, yeah, that Toxic Records shit, man. It's been a beautiful thing, man. A way for me to get all my money, you know? Like a publishing type of thing, you know what I'm saying? My own avenue to get this money, so. That's what you need to do. Think about your publishing out there. Get all your money. We know about your new record, the Orthus record. How was it making it, and uh, how do you feel about it? How was it making the Orthus, man? Shit. It, it took me back to the Nottis days, you know what I mean? Going verse for verse with Esham and TNT. You know, it just took me right back there, and it was a hell of a feeling, you know? And uh, we came up with some dope shit, man. You know, I can honestly say. You know, the people said it, but I'm going I'm to just let you know. That's how I feel about it. It's, the Orthos is a good piece of work, man. Proud of that shit. Cop that shit at Toxic.com, man. We know you released a new track called Some Mo Drano. What, is there anything behind that track? or d Just give us a little bit about the track. The Some Mo Drano track? That's an unreleased joint from the uh, from 2007, the new Liquid Drano album that was supposed to drop years ago, but it's coming. I just had to uh, give y'all a little something for the time being, something that I had my hands on and tweaked it a little bit and threw it out there to the people and got a hell of a response, so I'm back to give you some more Drano. Now, what was it like going on Bazaar's world tour? Uh, I mean, we know that there was complications, but what was it like on Bazaar's world tour? Shit, being out on the road with Biz, you can't experience nothing better. You know what I mean? As a, as an artist, as a starving artist, hell of a learning experience. You know what I mean? Even though I've been in this game for a minute. I haven't been touring like some of my peers. For me to go out there, man, and to see all the love that we got, it was pretty crazy. Unfortunately, the other half of the fucking tour got sidetracked and canceled. You know how promoters are, you know. It's whatever. But 
big up to my man Bazaar, man. Good dude. Hard worker. It was on. Now, everybody wants to know, are you going to have any further uh, future collabs with Bazaar? Oh, yeah. Definitely a collab. We did a collab called Rarely. Me and Bazaar. Rarely. Do I give a fuck? Some shit like that, and uh, it's a hell of a track, man. Produced by Dre 40 Ounce, and I will be putting it on my newest album. Go to toxic.com right now for the download before I take it down. Yeah, now we all want to know when did you first start rapping and who influenced you? Shit, when did I first start? Man, I started like you know. 13, 14, you know what I mean? Just writing shit. Trying to be like LL Cool J or somebody and shit, you know, but, you know, I I was lost until I heard uh, Eshan booming words from hell. Just like the next cat on the street. I heard that shit and it blew my mind like some real gangster wicked shit. You know what I mean? It was just, it was ill. So, after hearing that album, I definitely tweaked my shit and got real dark with my music. And I decided to make a, you know, a demo to slide to Esham. And shit worked out, man. I made a three song demo and did the damn thing on it. So, the rest is history like that. But, you know. Other than Eshawn being a hell of influence, you know, like I say, LL Cool J, Scarface, Fat Boys, Run DMC, Ice T, you know what I mean? Rap guys to me. But yeah. Now everybody's wondering, do you have any plans in the woodworks for uh, any uh, new tours or anything coming up? We definitely setting up some shit. My man Bloodshot over there. Slaughter Core Entertainment. You know, always got some shit in the works for your boy Mastermind. So, look for me this summer, man. I'm bringing my boy Schizo back out with me. We're going to bring the wicked shit to the people. Like, here. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to get back out there, man. I should be out there right fucking now. But nah, I'm in the fucking woods right now. Coming to a city near you, man. Now, is there any advice you could give any rappers trying to get their name out there? Just starting, they're starving, they're on the grind, and they need some help. Do you have any advice? Yeah, man, I got advice, man. Don't do it. Go get a fucking nine to five. But no, for the serious artists, man, seriously. Be true to what the fuck you do, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a game, but it's not. You know what I mean? You be true to what you do. Be true to the people who support you. Shit, you can get money, man. Be original with your shit. Follow my lead. All right, that, uh, that's the end of our interview with Mastermind. I'd like to thank you very much, Mastermind, for joining us here for our very first interview for HorrorCoreNews.com. Hey, yo. <clears throat> Shout out to HorrorCoreNews.com and your boy Horrorcore Chris for reaching out to your boy Mastermind. Uh, you're a big impact on the Horrorcore rap, acid rap, and uh, we'd like to thank you very much for joining us. And thank you for doing what you do for the horrorcore world and underground world. We'd like to thank you, Mastermind. Horrorcore news, definitely keeping the wicked shit alive. Go get that new Masterpiece album everywhere. Go get the authors at Toxic.com. Last Temptation, Intoxication, Chemical Spill, in stores now. 
Get at me on iTunes at Mr. Mastermind on Twitter. Mastermind at Hellraiser on Facebook. Four Core News. I'm out. The wicked shit will never die.